exhibition. Clap for yourselves once again. Hey! Okay, um, moving on to uh, the next category. I'd like to call upon Mr. Noah Murphy and Jamie Saris of CDPC from the National University of Ireland, Maynooth. Welcome. Karibuni sana. Um, Mr. Murphy and Mr. Saris will be presenting awards for the biological uh, sciences category. And coming in third place, project, school, or student names? Project. Ah, uh, okay. The winning project of the third prize in this category, biological and ecological sciences category, goes by the title of The Use of Utupa to Treat Ticks in Cattle from Nyailigamba Kagera, Eric Elenois, Favia Hamdan, and Aradius Felician. Congratulations, congratulations, Eric, Fathia, Hamdan, and Eradius Felician. Uh, would like to take a nice picture of the three of you. Congratulations. Very nice than nice. Nicer than nice. Can you, can you look at the camera and show them nicer than nice? Congratulations. What's your good name? Are you Eric or are you Eradius? I'm actually named Eric Elenaeus. Eric Elenaeus, congratulations. Now, tell me, so you use Utupa to treat ticks in cattle. Okay. First of all, how, what is Utupa? Utupa is scientifically named that it is Teprosebiog. It is a type of tree which is said to be poison, poisonous tree, and this is very called for the need that can be used by agropastoralists who are suffering much in agropastoral areas without the support from anywhere and they have got no money. So this is better that can, can use this local way to treat the whole animals that are suffering from ticks. Thank you very much for this. Thank you for introducing me to a natural pesticide. Hongere sana. Now we a picture moment. Pigene picha kidogo pale mkiu wa tatu. Mwali mwacho pige picha. Picha moja tu. Congratulations, Eric Fathia and Eredius. Third prize in the biological and ecological sciences category. Use of Utupa to treat ticks in cattle. Wow, if I had cows, I would come and ask you to show me why I can get Utupa. Moving on, runner up of uh, the biological ecological sciences category. The winning project of this award is titled. Developing Organic Avocado Products. <laughs> Monica, Robert, Epaphras, Julius, Nashila, Ramadan. Welcome to the stage. Just the students, just the students, only the students, only the students, only the students. From Arusha Day. Monica Robert Epaphras Julius Nashila Ramadan. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. Okay, I said earlier, Bini Mesoma Arusha. I was in Arusha Seki many years ago. I know that there are a lot of avocados in Arusha. Now, your project was titled Developing Organic Avocado Products, such as... Let me ask this question to... Who's going to answer my question? You want to answer it? So you must be Epaphras. Tell me, Epaphras, what kind of products can you get 
out of an avocado. There is avocado oil, avocado shoe polish, and avocado lubricating oil. Avocado shoe polish. I'm going to look for you. Ndagutafuta. Hongereni sana. From Arusha Day, Monica Robert, Epaphras Julius, Nashila, Ramadan. Moving on, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, dear beloved teachers. It is time to give the main awards for Young Scientist Tanzania Awards 2012. This is the main reason why we are in this hall, this part of the hall today. And to present these awards, I'd like to welcome onto the stage a representative of an organization that made all this possible. Without this initiative coming from them and being brought to Tanzania, them working with our government and representatives from Tanzania to make this day, these two days possible, Isinge Wezekana. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I'm starting vice from, from them coming up. Ladies, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, Please, let's give a warm welcome to 